Welcome to the fourth part of our Plotly crash course. If you want to see what we did earlier, make sure you check the description of the video. I'll leave the link to the other parts there. The link for the notebook, the Jupyter notebook that we're using, is also in the description. And that's enough of scatter plots. Let's move to line charts. On this page, as with scatter plots, you have a bunch of different examples. Again, just grab what you want and use it for your own code. So over here, we have this example, the exact Gapminder data set. So let's build this one. So I'm going to need a continent with just two countries, which is Oceania. That sounds weird, but it has just two countries, Australia and New Zealand. And this part you already know, we're going to use PX line instead of scatter. We're going to have our DF. Feel free to code along with me on this part. And our Y is going to be life exp. And we want the lines to have different colors according to their countries, country names. So one thing missing which is the fig.show. Okay. Very bland chart. So let's add some text. Okay, that's better. And I really hate the default template. So I'm going to use Seaborn. You see how you can just keep adding stuff to customize it a little bit but it gets to a point where you need to change the way that the markers um, that the text shows because it's right on top of the markers and you can't really tell what it is or maybe you wanted to increase the font size um, if you want to do something like that and it's not clear how you can make it i have this link for you and this will help you kind of decide if you want to update the traces or the layout. And in this case, um, where the text we want, so this is related to the traces themselves. So it's the text related to traces. So you're going to want to update the traces and you're also going to update the layout. But let's start with the let's start with the text position here, and let's go to this link. So on this page you have the uh, figure reference, which is a list of all the attributes that you can change uh, for the charts that you can create with Plotly. You have like a lot of things here, but you have to understand that it's divided. So you have the part for the layout where you can change the title, legend, margin, size, fonts, colors. Uh, the axes and you have also for each of the charts so we we want to change the text position here if you can't find the attribute that you want to change on this page that i showed you before the one with the for the line charts if you can't find on this page you're better off just going to the link that I showed you, the figure reference, and just search for the attribute that you want. Well, in this case, um, I want to search for text position. And <clears throat> so there's a lot of stuff that shows up here, but scattered traces, that's what we are changing. So we have a line chart, but it's essentially a scatter plot where the traces are lines. And this seems what I want. So it sets the position of the text elements with respect to the X, Y coordinates. So let's see what, what this is. And right here we have top left, top center, top right. Let's get a bottom left. And you have to show it again. So now you see we have we have just updated 
the traces, text position, bottom left, and it changed a bit. It's not perfect, but let's see if we change it to bottom right. Yeah, slightly better. Okay, so what if I wanted to change the layout? So let's say I want to add a title and I want to customize the height of the chart. So here on the figure reference for the layout, title is the first one. That's very straightforward. I'm not going to dive into this now, but you can just use title. And just, just another thing, if it's on the first level, it's easy to use. You just declare it and um, just show legend equals true, false. Um, it's very easy to use. If it's inside, like, um, if it's inside another one, like color, family, this is going to require some dictionaries in order to, to declare. It's still easy, but it's a bit more tricky because it's a dictionary. So let's update the title. Fig update layout. And we're going to use the title Oceania Race. Here's the title. We keep everything the same. And now let's see if we have something about the height. Here. So the default is 450. It has to be greater than or equal to 10. Set the plot's height in pixels. Okay. So I want to make it very small and if I want to make it larger just change the height and you can also change the width and that's what you can do with the layout I, I'm I mean you can do a lot um, a lot more things but this is just a simple example where you can use Plotly Express and then you customize it you tweak it a little bit to do stuff that it's more difficult to do with the Plotly Express one-liners. I'm going to take this off. That's it for our line charts. And our next part will be the last with Plotly Express before we move on to Plotly Graph Objects. I hope you're learning something so far. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe. If you get stuck in some part or something in the code is not clear, don't forget you can also leave a comment I'm usually responsive, so you have that option.